Yo guys, what is going on? It is your girl here. Welcome back to another Minecraft video. And today guys, we're speaking about the Minecraft Buzzy B 1.14.0 Bedrock update that came out on December the 10th, 2019 for Minecraft users across all platforms, guys. This does involve all platforms, not just PS4, even though I know I go over PS4 quite a lot, but this does include all platforms, guys. But the Bedrock Edition came out on PS4 on the 10th of December, 2019. And today we're going over all the features that is involved in this update and everything you can do to interacting with the bees to the achievements you can get with them guys another thing i'd like to say is keep an eye out on my channel guys because we have an awesome competition that is coming to minecraft users across all platforms and all the world guys so keep an eye out for that because you're all invited to take part in that and it also includes a nice giveaway at the end when we decide who is the winner but guys can you all go down below and hit that subscribe button and hit that like button to help me get to 900 subscribers as soon as possible guys with your love and support we are growing daily and i love the love and support you're giving me guys so keep on subscribing keep on liking and let's grow this channel so hit that like button and subscribe button guys and i'll see you in this so video if you're a ps4 user guys you will understand that the bedrock edition came out on the 10th of december 2019 along with the 1.14.0 update guys and with that update we had some nice features along with everything that all the other users have on bedrock and we also had the buzzy bee update that come to the consoles guys and with that we had loads of new features no loads of new blocks loads of new achievements you can get guys and a couple of changes that Hap. So guys, let's go over what actually changed with this update and what came along with this update. So the big difference you will see guys in this update is bees. Bees is the main thing for this update is actually called the buzzy bee update guys. Bees are now added to Minecraft. They are cute fuzzy and then mobs that just spawn anywhere and everywhere like every other mob. They do have the restrictions on where they will spawn guys. So bees nest generate in flower forest and sunflower biomes so they will spawn around flowers that's what they eat off that's what they breed off that is what the bees do in real life and also this game they generate around flowers so you will need to be around some sort of flower forest or some sort of flower biome so just like in real life guys bees use flowers for pretty much everything they use it for gathering pollen they spend their lives gathering pollen from the actual flowers if they can't find the pollen they will return home guys and once they have found pollen they will then return to the nest guys to make the honey if a bee actually don't have a home nest it will wander around until it finds one close enough that he can use bees don't like the rain and they sleep at night just like us guys we go to sleep at night and we don't like the rain haha <laughs> but they will return to their nest if it rains or if they if it is night time so if you walk around and figuring out why can't you see any bees in the night it's because they're all in their nest sleeping guys so when it comes to actually interacting with the bees you'll find that beehives are one of the best things you can interact with there's not much to do with the actual bees but to do with the actual beehives guys you can use shears or you can use a empty glass bottle guys Guys, which will give you honey but the shears will also give you honeycombs so you can go up to a beehive harvest it and you will get either honey or honeycomb out of it you can use a campfire underneath the beehive which will calm the bee if you are going to harvest the bees nest guys then place a campfire underneath and it will actually calm the bees down so they won't come and attack you another awesome thing about actual beehives and bees nest they're actually redstone friendly so what i mean by that guys if you're building like a nice little redstone thing and you've run out of box but you have a beehive on you the redstone can actually generate through the beehive and it will go through to the next redstone block the only thing you can't do when it comes to beehives is you can't when you put them on a sticky piston it won't push them up like chests and stuff like that this is what a bee egg looks like um you can use them in creative mode so the next thing that they added guys is honey blocks now honey blocks i personally find really useless but there are some if you're into this kind of thing that there are some benefits out of them so they reduce your movement speed and jump height so it's kind of like a slime block guys where it makes you go slower and you can jump higher as well but it also reduces your fall damage so if you fall guys and you put a honey block underneath you it will reduce your fall damage you can slide down a wall of honey blocks to slow your fall so if you're into parkour guys and you want to do some parkour then if you put up a wall of honey blocks and you slide down it it will slow down your fall time so yeah guys there's there's not a whole lot to do with honey blocks unless you're into uh, parkour or unless you have a house on top of a mountain where you like to jump off and you can reduce your fall damage by placing one of them underneath your jumping spot next thing guys is a honeycomb block now these are pretty useless they don't do much guys they're pretty much used as a decorative block you can use them to build like a nice wall feature so another thing that i was added to the game guys with this update was new achievements we have three new achievements in total guys and they're pretty cool achievements to have so the first one is be your guest use a campfire to collect honeycomb from a beehive using a bottle without aggressing the bees guys and as i explained earlier if you put a campfire underneath 
produce the actual beehive you can collect stuff from the beehive or harvest it and the bees will not get aggressive or attack you the second one guys is total bee location move and place a bee nest with three bees inside using silk touch and the third one guys is sticky situation slide down a honey block to slow your fall so they're all three easy achievements that has been added to this so that is awesome news it gets our rank up and it also gets our achievement motive going so another thing guys that you can do with bees is get them to follow you around so you can use a flower any sort of flower apart from i think it's the wither uh, flower that you can get to follow you them around guys they go for flowers so you know it makes sense to go at them with a flower and you can get the bees to follow you you can also breed bees by doing this if you give them a flower along like any other sort of mod in minecraft is if you give them a flower two of them at the same time in the same location then they will make guys and they will give you a little tiny baby bee and they're super cute you could also use a lead to attach to the bee and you can pull them around with you you can use them as a balloon or you can just simply get them to follow you with the lead on another cool little tip guys on bees if you do have a little a little structure for your bees to go inside where you can harvest them and keep them and stuff like that if you then put down seeds guys to plant and to grow if they, when they fly over it they will produce them to go quicker so it's a little bit like the bone you put them on there and it grows quicker but if you use them inside a bee shelter then you will get them to grow quicker also another awesome tip guys to know whether a beehive is actually full or not if you look at the beehive and you can see honey dripping or oozing out of it it means that it's full and it is ready to harvest guys there's a hovering beehive then you look underneath it guys you will see that there's honey blocks actually dripping out of it which also means that they are full and ready to be harvest if you attack them or if you make them angry you will get not just the one bee you will get a few bees after you but once a bee stings you we get poisoned for a couple of minutes you will not die from a bee sting um you will lose life and you will be poisoned for a, about a minute or so but you can the bee then also dies so i'm pretty sure i've covered everything to do with the bees guys there's also a few changes that was added to the game when the update happened so you can now use the lead guys on polar bears parrots ocalots and dolphins to move them around with you and to use them to follow you and stuff like that dispensers can now fill bottles with water and honey the amount of xp dropped by animals to match the java edition most animals will drop one to three xp when killed but dolphins now drop zero xp so yeah guys i think i have gone over everything included in this little update guys and everything i know about the bees some little tricks and tips in there as well guys so check them out use them yourself or just check them out yourself and you'll see what they all do so i hope you like this little video if there's any other thing you need me to go over in minecraft any other topics any other thing to do with minecraft let me know down in the comment section below and i will cover them for a video for you and also give you a shout out while i'm at it but guys as i said i hope you all enjoy this video hit that like button hit that subscribe button help me grow to 900 subscribers as i said we are doing absolutely amazing so far so keep up the good work guys and i promise i will keep uploading awesome videos for you guys and i'll see you all in the next video and it's been your girl so peace oh yeah guys as i said keep an eye out turn on your notifications to keep an eye out for that competition we are running and we're also giving away something awesome at the end of the competition so we'll see you all in that video but for now guys it's been your girl and peace